happy moment to everyone this is perki shalomina assistant professor department of social work st joseph college of arts and science at ramas kadalu in this video we are going to discuss about organizational change and as a subject of organizational behavior let's get into the slides the first slides talk about the meaning of organizational change let me read this points one by one organizational change is the process through which a company undergoes any transformation internally or externally yes always before we have the idea of change what is change already we know and we are familiar with the word change let me discuss about what is organizational change the word change denotes any kind of transformation from one point of view to the another point of view here when we are talking about the organizational change it is the same thing applied to the organizational change also it is a kind of transformation within the organization or outside of the organization when we are talking about the change in the organization it can occur with the proper planning so without a proper planning no change can occur within the organizational setup we know already when we are talking about the organization it must have a reputed structure in it when we are talking about the organizational change we cannot change anything like that so for that we need to plan in a prior in execute in a very effective manner so organizational change should be planned very well before executing the change within the organization and between the employees and employers when we are making change in the organization it can cause certain things these things are mentioned in the last points the change can take within the structure of the organization and culture of the organization goals of the organization and operational system itself can change when we change a particular thing in an organization it affects whole service of the organization next slide it's continue with the meaning of organizational change when we are implementing the organizational change into the organization it depends on the types of change which we are implementing in the next slide we will be seeing about the different types of organizational changes so the types of organizational change it's depend on the nature of the change for example when we are talking about the culture change it focus on the cultural aspect when we are talking about the structural change it focus on the structural aspect of the organization so when we are implementing the change into the organization it depends on the types of change which we are implementing to the particular organization while talking about this change some change may not affect the employees at all majorly when change take outside of the organization which may not affect the employee within the organization for example when we are making change with the customer and it may not affect the organization employees then when we are talking about this organization we require the management to adapt certain policies regarding to the organizational change just like that we cannot change any system or any culture within the organization so with the proper permission and with the prior attention to the employee only we can change anything in the organization so for that we need to adapt kind of policies which will indicate these changes to the employees so as a hr manager or the hr team we should create new policies which match with the organizational changes it should be updated to the employees 
yes what are the benefits of organizational change change definitely brings the benefit for the development of the employees as well as to the organization first we see the benefit which goes to the employees through organizational change the first benefit is they get more opportunity for their skill growth for example if a particular organization changes any kind of technology effort in the organization the employee can learn more about the particular technology which means their skill is developing through a particular change and it gives diversification of demographic and task so usually employee will do the same thing day by day if the organizational change something then it will give a slight diverse to their work nature and the next thing it will improve the communication of the employees between the employee or between the employer and employee it will improve the communication about the present situation and the future planning which we are going to change for the next generation then it increase the opportunity for employee input and participation by changing the organizational system or structure or whatever what kind of changes we make definitely it reflect with the participation of the employee in all the levels then we have more scope for the innovation yes when we are talking about the word change it always talking about a kind of innovation okay then when we are the next point is opportunities for new roles and promotion if organization brings change definitely we could see any kind of promotions and roles can be varied between the employees and the employers then the next part the benefits goes to the organization through organizational change which is first one new business opportunities when the organization change it focus on the new opportunities on the basis of their business it can be based on the profit or based on the customer satisfaction it will focus only on the business motive and it will create new opportunities to develop their business as well as it improve employee efficiency when we are talking about change we are bringing a change in order to make someone to motivate something so in order to do that it is improving the employee efficiency their workforce their uh, timing so it will slightly improve the efficiency of the employee within an organization it gives better management style always we change change alone is permanent yes when we are talking about the change it gives a better management system we have to be updated with the present situation and the technologies it focus on the better management to adapt the new policies legislations or whatever then it enhance market relevance and better staff morale and more cohesive vision and values higher functioning teams and improved process so these kind of uh, benefits are goes to the organizational setup while they going for the organizational change next we discuss about the types of organizational change there are broadly five types of organizational changes the first one is transformational change second one is transitional change third one is developmental change and proactive change last reactive change we discuss one by one this the transformational change it can be said as a uh, complete reshape when we are talking about the word transformation which means we are shifting from one particular thing to the another particular thing which means the entire system will get change over it under the transformational change we have three sub 
changes, cultural changes, structural change and personal changes. When we are talking about the cultural change, it involves promoting new attitude that ex express companies' values and their vision and mission altogether. This cultural change transforms the work environment of the organization. The next thing, structural change. Structural change is based on the hierarchy system of the organization. Wherever we go, the organization, it has a particular structure in it. The structural change talks about the hierarchy of the job and role within the organization. Then the personal change focus on the massive growth to the signifying engagement of the employee in an organization. The next types of organizational change is transitional change. Transitional change in the sense we are adapting new one, we are updating the technology. For example, the technology updation or comes under this transitional change. We should understand the difference between transformational change and transitional change. Transformational change talks about the complete change of the particular organization. It can be any kind of structure or cultural or any kind of personal changes. When we are talking about the transitional change, it fully focusing on updating the new one. It is not changing the entire process, it will change a particular part of the process. For example, when we are talking about the technology change, in the production department, if they uh, introduce any kind of machines there, that particular department only will get change over it. Okay. Then the operational changes, this operational changes focusing on the process of streamlining the existing process which means the products and new technologies focusing on the improving employee work and their communication operating particular things in order to get better development in a particular area so the transitional change will depend on the particular aspect of the organization it doesn't change the whole organizational setup or structure the next change of the organization is developmental change. When we are talking about this developmental change, it is the correction of existing system. If we are doing any particular kind of work, we are updating and we are changing according to the existence, according to the market, we will be changing something over it. Okay, we are making a correction towards a particular system. We are making correction towards the particular hierarchy. Okay, it is also a kind of a particular system or particular changes which occur in an organization. Broadly, development changes are divided into two categories anticipatory change and remedial change. Anticipatory change is talking about the better preparation for the future which means they are uh, focusing on the opportunities they are focusing on the competition between the companies and in the existing system this anticipatory change often involving their data analysis and their uh, survey on customer outreach which anticipatory change focusing on the future development if we are focusing on the future we have to identify some kind of uh, changes or we need to know about the existing situation of our organization and employees and as well as to the customer satisfaction within the organization setup then the next type uh, remedial change is talking about the implementation of this type a change when it is identifies an unanticipated problem and executes a quick solution. Remedial change focusing on a quick solution towards a particular problem. Suddenly it takes place in order to 
bring uh, order or hierarchy in an organization remedial change is focusing on a quick change within the organizational setup the next broader organizational change is proactive change proactive change in the sense be well planned about the organizational change which means it is pre planned before we change a particular thing that's it the next thing is reactive change when we are talking about the reactive change it is taking suddenly which means it is unplanned transformation of any kind of situation or position or structure of the organization then we are talking about change in an organizational setup we will be having different kind of employees over there so we may not expect that all the employee will get into the particular change some employee will resist to change same employee will accept the change yes we will be dis discussing about these topics in a wider way first we will be discussing about forces of change when the employee is resist to change when the employee is not willing to change the organization will force to change okay so that is divided into big broader top topics which is external forces and the internal forces so in the external forces we will be having the social environment cultural and uh, demographic political economic and technological so these are the general environmental thing which force the employee to get into the particular kind of change and another part of external forces business environment in the industry and in order to compete with the uh, competitive uh, industries and customer demands so these kind of uh, things are based on business environment so these general environment and business environment are comes under external force of the employee to get into the particular kind of change when we are talking about the social uh, force in order to stick with a particular designation we will bring kind of change within us and in order to maintain our economic status with no way we will be changing a particular thing okay then when we are talking about the internal force within the organization when we are talking about internal force it is within the organization when we are talking about the external so force it is outside of the organization yes within the organization we have to change particular thing based on their performance and their satisfaction level new mission if you are starting a kind of new project we have to change something okay new missions new leadership and conflict if conflict arise we have to change kind of policies if new leader takes some position according to his view we have to change something okay so the force of change occurs internally and externally somehow we have to change a particular thing to reach our organizational goal yes the next resistant to change from the employee point of view they will resist something to change in themselves okay for example if you change the time of the organization they will resist we may not uh, happy with that particular timing like that they will be showing their resistance towards the organizational change we are we have the different types of resistance organizational resistance group resistance individual resistance and active resistance passive resistance aggressive resistance covert resistance and overt resistance thank you